In this video, we'll demonstrate how to build a real-time fraud detection pipeline using IBM StreamSets. Fraud is both pervasive and costly. According to a recent study by LexisNexis, for every $1 lost to fraud, financial services companies spend an average of $4.41 to cover the fraud itself, charge back fees, and the costs associated with investigating and processing fraudulent transactions. The same study also found that 83% of financial services companies reported increased resource commitments to manage fraud compared to the previous year. Despite these challenges, organizations with more advanced fraud detection systems experienced a 41% reduction in fraud losses compared to their peers with less mature systems. So, how do organizations detect fraud? Today, two main methods are commonly used. The first is machine learning where predictive analytics are applied to real-time data through models that assign risk scores to each transaction as it is processed. The second, more traditional method relies on a business rule engine, which is based on logic defined by the bank. This logic typically focuses on statistical methods, taking into account factors such as frequency of transactions, the distribution of transaction amounts, and the location and time of transactions. In today's demo, we'll demonstrate the last approach fraud detection based on location and time of transactions. We'll use a scenario involving Raj, a fictional resident of San Francisco. At 8.30 a.m., Raj leaves the Cal train station at 4th and King. As he walks to the office, he swipes his credit card to purchase breakfast. By 8.55 a.m., he buys a coffee at his company's headquarters on Market Street. A simple business rule would connect these two transactions by calculating the distance between them, 1.07 miles, and the time gap, 25 minutes. Dividing the distance by the time gives us a required travel speed of 2.5 miles per hour. Since it's reasonable to travel at that speed, this transaction would not be flagged as suspicious. Now, let's build an algorithm for our pipeline. For each transaction, we will query the location and timestamp of the previous legitimate transaction made by the same account. We will calculate delta x, the distance between the current and previous transaction locations, and delta t, the time difference between the two transactions. Finally, we'll divide delta x by delta t to calculate the required speed. If this speed exceeds the cruising velocity of a commercial jet, we'll flag the transaction as suspicious. In this demo, we'll start by processing a stream of transactions stored in Apache Kafka, where each message is in JSON format. We'll read each message using IBM stream sets and single store will calculate the necessary values to help determine if the transaction is suspicious. After enriching each record, we'll store it back in single store, where it will appear as a row of the transaction table, along with a column indicating whether it's suspicious or not. Although it's not essential for this use case, we'll also write each transaction to Elasticsearch for real-time map visualization. Now, switching to stream sets, I want to quickly point out that I've already set up the connections to Kafka, single store, and Elasticsearch. Apart from that, I haven't pre-built any pipelines. I'll demonstrate just how easy it is to create sophisticated pipelines with stream sets. Let's get started by creating our pipeline, which I'll name transactions to single store. For those who are new to stream sets, let me walk you through the pipeline designer interface. The upper half of the screen is the pipeline canvas, where we'll manage the various stages for extracting, transforming, and loading streaming data. The stages we use appear in the stage palette, and StreamSets has over 200 stages designed for nearly any real-time use case. Since we're starting with data from an Apache Kafka topic, I'll add an origin stage, specifically the Kafka multi-topic consumer. As I've already pre-configured the connection to my transaction stream from Kafka, I'll select that and change the topic name to transactions. To slow things down for this demo, I will set the max batch size to one record as stream sets pipelines typically run at a very fast pace. Since the messages are in JSON format, I'll select JSON from the Data Format tab. This configuration pulls the data from Kafka. To ensure everything's working correctly, I can run a pipeline preview, which is like a sneak peek of the data stream sets will process. When I preview the data, I see it includes the account ID, timestamp, dollar amount, and location coordinates associated with the transaction. Now that we've successfully pulled the data in our pipeline, it's time to enrich it. We'll use the JDBC lookup processor, which allows us to run SQL queries 
and use the results to add additional fields to the records flowing through the pipeline. For this, I'll select my pre-configured single store connection and use the SQL query that I showed earlier to calculate the distance and timestamp differences. Next, I'll add a field to flag whether the transaction is suspicious. To do this, we'll use the expression evaluator, a low-code processing stage in stream sets. The expression evaluator lets us define the output field and the expression that will populate it. For our use case, the output field will be called suspicious. The expression will divide delta x, the distance between the two transactions, by delta t, the time difference. We'll use a threshold of 268 meters per second, roughly 600 miles per hour. If the calculated value exceeds this threshold, we'll flag the record as suspicious by setting the suspicious field to true. Otherwise, it will be set to false. We are now ready to write our data to single store. I will select this single store destination and specify the connection and the table name, transactions. Since we're processing one record at a time, I will disable the bulk load feature. Additionally, since we want to visualize the data in real time, I'll add an elastic search destination and wire it up here to write out the data. We'll use our existing elastic search connection, specify the index name as transactions, and set the mapping as transaction. And that's it. We're ready to run the pipeline. I have preloaded the Kafka topic with five sample records to ensure everything works as expected. Once the pipeline starts, we can see five input records and 10 output records because we're writing to both single store and Elasticsearch. Switching to my Kibana dashboard, I can visualize these transactions on a map, which show Raj's morning commute in the San Francisco Bay Area. Now, I'll zoom out and add more records. Even though there are no new records in the Kafka topic, StreamSets continues to listen for additional data. I'm going to submit around 5,000 new records off screen, and as soon as I do, you'll see these records begin processing. As we continue, I can see more than a thousand records, including transactions in places like Sunnydale, California, Seattle, and Raleigh, North Carolina, where Raj's company has other offices. If I zoom out further, we'll find that one transaction has been flagged as fraudulent. Let's dive into this suspicious transaction using Cabana. The issue is that the transaction originated in Brisbane, Australia, with only a 93 second gap between the previous transaction. However, the distance between the two locations was over 11 million meters, way too far for Raj to travel in such a short time. As a result, this transaction was flagged as suspicious and would be blocked by his bank. To summarize, in today's demo, we built a real-time fraud detection pipeline using IBM stream sets. We ingested a transaction stream from Apache Kafka, enriched it using SQL queries in single store, flagged suspicious records based on our business rules, and finally wrote the transactions to both single store and Elasticsearch for real-time analysis. Thank you for watching.